Welcome to SimpleKidsCrafts.com, episode 623, how to make a sofa for your doll with recycled materials. Materials, cardboard boxes, duct tape, old newspaper, wire knots, marker, glue, and scissors. Hi, today we will be making the sofa that you can see on the screen. You can make this sofa in different colors to match your doll, and it can be used for any fashion doll. We will start by taking two boxes, one that will be the lower portion of our sofa, and the other one which will be the upper portion of our sofa. You can have boxes that are different sizes, but you will have to cut them so that they will be the same length, by marking them the way that we just did, and then cutting the excess. After we have done this successfully, then we will stuff each one of the boxes by using recycled paper. In my case, I will use new circulars that came in my newspaper. After we're done with this, we want to cover the boxes by using duct tape. We will cover both the lower portion of the seat and the upper portion of the seat. After we have successfully covered both of the boxes, then we will put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the upper portion for the sofa. Then we will attach it to the lower portion of the sofa, just like this. Make sure that both of the pieces are thoroughly attached. For the bottom of the sofa, I'm using these wire knots that you can get at any hardware store. I'm attaching them with the glue on the bottom on each one of the corners. And you can leave them this color or you can paint them another color by simply using nail polish if you want to. In my case, I do want to match the color of the sofa to the bottom of the sofa or the feet of the sofa, so I will be using a little bit of nail polish on each one of them. And this is the end result. Now I can decorate my sofa. I can use rhinestones or I can use this little lace that I have here and attach it to the sofa on the back. If you want to, you can also use different color tapes or duct tapes that come in a variety of color to achieve something like this and match the color scheme for the room of your doll. I'm now leaving you with a couple of different pictures that I took with the different dolls and I hope that you enjoy this project and that you make it at home. I'll see you on the next video. Bye! <laughs>